Hello, Bullfrog. Come in, Bullfrog. This is Gray Squirrel. Do you read me? Over. This is Bullfrog. I read you, Gray Squirrel. Over. Where are you? Over. I'm right here, Brain. We did it, Pinky. Brilliant performance. Pinky, prepare to pass a slow-moving vehicle. Ready up, Brain! Call me Mr. Perkins. Activate left turn indicator now. Let's try that again, Pinky. No, wrong switch. Exemplary work, Pinky. And so I shall woo her, Pinky, and win her heart. Do you know how I plan to do that? Um, with a big wooden mallet? Normally, Pinky, I would be compelled to hurt you, but today I'm feeling forgiving. Oh, no. Just as love comes my way, Pinky, we must save her. Oh, no, we're too late. No. That ought to do it. We can check back tomorrow. Billy. Billy, are you all right? Eggy? Is that you, Eggy? Yes. Oh, Eggy. I thought the electropolarity had altered the reticular formation in my medulla oblongata. Pinky, she's become incredibly intelligent. E God, brain, she's probably even smarter than you. What's the solution to Carpolium's black hole equation? The square root of 16,922. I've been pondering that problem for five months. She is smarter than I. How annoying. I must go. But Brain! You mean you don't love her just because she's smarter than you? Oh, I do love her, Pinky. I do. All is not lost, Pinky. We can still travel forward to the next key moment in mouse evolution. Then we will return to a time when... Oh, 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 can I say this time, Brain? Oh, all right. When mice rule the earth! The earth. First of all, I'm sorry. Rain, are you all right? Your timing is impeccable, Pinky. <gasps> but for once, you erred in our favor, my friend. But, but when I take over the world, I promise to rule in a fair and just manner. Which gadget shall I use to ferret out that criminal's vile lair? How about the legendary power sniffer, Cranial Crusader? Uh, of course, Pink Wonder, the power sniffer. Let's activate. Right! You seem to know much of the crime fighter business, Pinky. I learned everything from these comic books, Brain. It's time to put my plan into action. You mean we're finally going to learn to harmonize, get a choreographer, and move to Detroit? Ooh, la, 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 la. What about my day, Blaine? <laughs> we always hear about your day, but what about mine? The boss this and the boss that. La di la di da. No! <laughs> Do you ever ask what I did today? <laughs> Very well, Pinky. What did you do today? Um... Can't remember. Anything? Not a thing. Now I know how American Gladiator stays on the air. Pinky, you don't understand the pressures, the tension I'm under. You don't know what I'm up against. It's very difficult, the stressful tasks I face every day. Am I the only person who makes coffee around here? Pinky. Scientifically speaking, it's because you are a spazzy, beetle-headed doofus with the intellect of a mule hoof that I have yet to conquer the world. Oh, you're not going to get rid of me, are you, Plane? I, I mean, you, working as a single... Oh, oh, look what happened to Jamie Lewis after he split with Dean. All that stuff in your hair. Point taken. 
But fear not, I have another plan. Pinky, I am going to make you smart. I... I don't understand, Vane. Exactly. Pinky, that's right. Are you pondering what I'm pondering? Yes, I am. This is fantastic. Do you see? You've already saved us an entire evening. Tremendous. Forget that plan. Take a look at this one, colleague. Oh, Blaine. <laughs> Boy. No. 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 He's even smarter than I. Smarter. Accepting my own errors. The team needs balance. Balance, yes. Therefore, to successfully take over the world, a sacrifice must be made. One of us must be an imbecile. Seven odd six nineteen Kelvin Fibonacci N plus one coming, not coming. Pinky, oh Pinky, <laughs> Pinky, look at me! <laughs> I'm a ninny, a wooden-headed dum dum. Not a smart thought in my whole empty head. Narf, narf to the world. <laughs> what are we going to do tonight, Pinky? Point. I say, point. Pinky. Oh, it's good to be back. I've fixed it as well, Pinky. I'm as dense as a tree stump. You mean? Yes. Well, we'll just have to make you smart again, won't we? We can't, Pinky. We're both too stupid to operate the machine. I guess we're alone here. Excellent, Pinky. It's time to flesh out the terrain. That volcano will be Mount Brain. This clearing will be Brain Flats. And that water over there... Hmm. Oh, very well. The Fjord of Pinky. Zord! Oh, thank you, Bane! The Fjord of Pinky! I am stern but benevolent. Your maker, he waits for you! There! Now, Pinky, man your station at the switch. But Blaine, I did, I did give him the letter. It's very, very important. Give me that stupid letter. Now throw the switch when the meter hits red. <laughs> Dear Santa, hello, ha ha narf. This year, Santa, I ask for nothing, but I wish to tell you about my dear friend, the Brain. He is honest and very hardworking, and only wants what's best for the world, but he gets no reward. He is only greeted with defeat. He never gives up, but I know it must be very hard. So please, take anything that you had for me and give it to my best friend in the whole world, the Brain. Love, Pinky. P.S. By any chance do you have in that big old bag of yours the worm? You're on! Hey, look at that! You're on, Brain! Um, ladies and gentlemen of the world, you will do as I say, for I, I command you, I command you to.
have a Merry Christmas, everyone. Have a Merry, Merry Christmas. Joy to the world. Yes. <laughs> Christmas. Merry Christmas to you, Blaine. This is an unexpected blow, Pinky. At one time, Snowball and I were as close as brothers. We're going way back, before I even knew you, Pinky. The glorious days of my childhood. Oh, I'll bet you were as cute as a bug, Blaine. Yes, Pinky. Though it may be difficult to fathom, I too was once adorable. Snowball and I became fast friends. I could always make him laugh. <laughs> but the carefree days of youth would soon come to a crashing halt. Alive! <laughs> oh, my beloved world! You cannot conquer me! My world. Yes, I must save my world. Oh, this is a tough one. Do you think you could help me out, Blaine? Brain, brain, brain! For the last time, I am not brain! Oh, right. So now do you want to know my brilliant idea, Snowbrain? Look, you fool! You have no brilliant ideas. I'm only using you to get at him, so just stay quiet. You... using me? Oh, why don't you go ride your theme park? <laughs> What do you want? My friend and my world. Good one, Brain! Zippy! No! No! Brain, yes! This time we really did it! We're going to take over the world! Yes, Pinky. Thanks to you and your... No! Hello, Brain. Boy! Pinky, you found me out. You've discovered my great dark secret. What, you mean a liposuction? Ha! I knew about that for years! No, not that, Pinky. I'm in love. No! I was planning to take over the world. That's why I sent for you, Pinky. But that was before I met Trudy. Now all I want is to settle down with the one I love. But Vane! I'm leaving it all behind, Pinky. That was nice, Brain. Thank you, Pinky. And thank you for your help. Here, this is for you. What is it? A dinosaur sticker. <gasps> no! Oh, thank you, Brain. Oh, hold me. There is a mysterious power that no human can resist, Pinky. A thing so great that the strongest of souls bend and surrender to it instantly. <gasps> you mean the Ark of the Covenant? No, Pinky. The most tremendous force in the cosmos. Free t-shirts! Oh, Blaine. The 
That's even nicer than the one you brought me back from Dollywood. Here, put this on. Oh, thank you, Brian. Let us begin. Citizens of Brainus, today is the start of a new era. An era without crime, an era without taxes, an era without Quentin Tarantino. Why are you so far away, Pinky? I got here late and couldn't get a better seat. Well, move closer, Pinky. I'm lonely. Hello, pen pal. At last we behold each other personally. Through clever use of email, I have lured you here to consume your cerebrum. Is that so? Judging from your last message, you don't even know how to spell cerebrum. At least I don't put smiley faces on every line. Oh, yeah? Well, you're a weenie. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, good one, Rain. Thank you, Pinky. No, Pinky. If I knew how to fly this thing, we could use it to defeat Zalgar. Gee, Brain, looks just like something from Z Files. This thingamajig is the steering wheel, and this watchamahoos it runs the engine thrusters. Pinky, at last, your mindless TV viewing is helpful. What? Oh, stop it, Brain. You're making me feel all gooshy. We need to throw a monkey in his works. You mean a monkey wrench? No, I mean a monkey! Look, Pinky, there's a toolbox. I'll show you what I mean. It's called a monkey wrench. Maybe later. Ask you think we need a monkey. Where would we find a monkey at this hour? Over there? Technically, it's a Sasquatch, Pinky, but I won't argue the point. Hey, Pinky. Ugh, brain! I've been gooped! Uh -huh. Hang on, Pinky. This cryogenic chamber gives me an idea. How would you like to be prepared? Baked or broiled? Chilled, thank you. Ah. Back to the chiropractor. I'm back in one piece and feeling fitter than ever. My stomach is empty. Wish you were there. You needn't reply as this is our final correspondence. <laughs> Brain Tartar coming up. Hey, Gad, if Zelda eats your brain, what will your new name be? Hurry up, Pinky. Lord, that's almost the same as mine. <gasps> the, the tools! <laughs> Quickly, Pinky. We can fix the other ship. I've got the monkey! Point. Sweet taste of victory! Intelligence of Entree is dangerously low. What? An idiot? Impossible! Warning! Explosion imminent! <laughs> Oh! 
to the eyeball, Pinky. Batten your hatches, friend. I'm going for the gusto. Papa? Gotta wake up now, Papa. Gotta go home now, Papa. Papa? <laughs> Keep focused, Pinky. <laughs> Be a man like Eleanor Roosevelt. Papa? Time to get up, Papa. Hey, this is moving. Papa. Papa. Oh, my. <laughs> Papa! Pinky, look. My face is leaking. You're not leaking, Vane. You're... you're crying, Charles. I am not. <laughs> oh. It's all right, Brain. Brain? It's okay, Brain. It's the jungle, Pinky. I don't think I can make it out here. <laughs> Pull yourself together, Brain! Pinky, what will we do? <gasps> what is it, Pinky? 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 Jungle scary, jungle scary, jungle scary. Now, Brain, we must get out of here before Snowball arrives. You should have stayed in your beloved civilization, Brain. You're in the jungle now, and in the jungle, only the strong, the truly strong, can survive. Save us, Pinky. Summon all your animal savagery and break through these bonds. Here I go. Yeah! <laughs> ah! Pinky? It's all right, Brain. This quicksand broke my fall. Quicksand? <laughs> oh, don't worry, Brain. You'll join him soon enough. <laughs> Surrender! In your dreams! <laughs> you were always so darn dramatic. And you <laughs> were always... So darn danger! Yes! Snowball! Brain! Snowball, listen to me. You need help. Perhaps you're right, Brain. Yes. It all goes back to my childhood. You see, I was the middle hamster. <laughs> ah, Brain. <laughs> you make treachery fun. <laughs> Snowball, take my hand. Thanks. No thanks, Brain. I don't need you. Ah! Aha, Brain, you can't beat me. Stop it, Pinky, or I'll put you right back in. Guess we can continue our journey homeward now, eh, Brain? Home? Pinky, we are home. Here in the wild, I've never felt so strong, so alive. This is where we belong. In the great outdoors, for here we are kings, kings of the jungle. The whole world is. Oh, what have I done, Pinky? Are you all right? Uh huh. Nerf. 
But I'm afraid my secret playhouse will never be the same. Oh, it's all my fault. This obsession with taking over the world is causing me to hurt the ones I tolerate. My friend, are you tired of feeling like you have to take over the world? Yes. My friend, are you tired of hurting the ones you tolerate? Yes. This is also inspiring. You want to let go of this control issue, don't you, Brain? Yes. You've been obsessing, Brain, struggling with deep-seated guilt, manipulated by your emotions. Yes. Then own your power, my friend. Stand with your wounded inner child and find peace in the outer world. Yes! I must release my conflicting issues and learn to love me. I don't believe it. I'm speaking in idiotic psychobabble, and yet I feel strangely happy. Oh, thank you, Brain. What a lovely sweater. You know, I've never really worn clothes much, but then I've never had so many lovely sweaters from which to choose. Yes, Pinky. And after I've perfected the Knit-O-Matic, all of our friends will have so many lovely sweaters from which to choose. And Angora socks. <sighs> For me, Brain? Point? Oh, how thoughtful. But I need something more substantial to do with my newfound free time and sense of well-being. And that's why tonight I'm launching Brain Cares, a non-profit foundation dedicated to rehabilitating the victims of megalomaniacs everywhere. I have entered into the computer all of the characteristics necessary to determine just who is the most pathetic, codependent victim on the planet. We will help that individual to become self-reliant and live in the present. Oh, goody, I love presents! Egad, Pinky. It's... it's you. Yay! Point! <laughs> Don't you see, Pinky? I've perpetrated a heinous crime. You have been named the ultimate codependent victim. Thank you, Brain. Come, Pinky. I must make amends for the damage I've done and repair your broken spirit. No! Will this involve power tools? Pinky, in order to be self-reliant, you must learn to be assertive. Um... You just lie there and think about what you've done, Mr. Cheese! Point! Is that assertive, Brain? Yes, but you must be assertive with things that can answer back. Oh, that's harder then, isn't it? The time has finally come, Pinky. In order to be fully self-reliant, you must go out there and face the world on your own. But, Brain, without your guidance, moral support, and, and all those little blows to the head? Carpe diem, Pinky. You are in charge of your own destiny. <laughs> Pinky, no. you should all be ashamed of yourselves for assaulting this poor, no. innocent soul. If I ruled the world, people wouldn't step all over the little guy. Really, Brain? Pinky, I've been mistaken. My quest is not an obsession. It's a mission of mercy. I don't want to rule the world for my own ego, but to make it a better place. Maybe a little bit for my own ego. Beware. Beware, ignorant fools. To open the sacred burial chamber of Khufu is to invite a plague of misery upon humanity. Fire shall rain down from the sky, locusts shall devour crops, Olsen twins will make more movies. We must find another way out. Perhaps these hieroglyphics will reveal a way out of here. Ah! <gasps> oh, scared you didn't die. You always scare me, Pinky. Now do me a favor and go play with those blocks over there. <laughs> Woe unto those who alter the blocks of life and wake the mummy. Hmm. Woe unto those who alter the blocks of life. The blocks of life? The blocks of life? Pinky, no! Pinky, these symbols spell wake me up! Pinky! So 
solid rhyme. Follow. <laughs> Got to get this thing. Come on! <laughs> Your oil's a little low, Mac, and you might want to add some vinegar, too. <laughs> no. Get him. Listen, Pinky. Through there. It just don't seem right, little baby out here all by himself. Where did you come from, young'un? We've always wanted a child, Jonathan. Well, if the sheriff can't find his parents, I suppose we could take care of him. We could call him Clark and raise him like he was our own. What'll we do, Pinky? They obviously don't have the proper scientific expertise to raise a child. You know, Brain, Sister Batria always says, if you love someone, set them free. Really, Pinky? Oh, yes. Then perhaps she's also familiar with the corollary statement. If someone trashes your lab, keeps you up at night, causes you nothing but pain, and then deserts you, good riddance. Still, I, I hope the little fellow will be all right. They look like nice people, Brain. He called you. Hush, Pinky. We must steel ourselves against mawkish sentimentality and head back to the lab to prepare for tomorrow night. Why, Brain? What are we going to do tomorrow night? Make a scrapbook? Yes, Pinky. And then try to take over the world. <laughs> <laughs> Brain, you can't go on working yourself like this. You haven't eaten or slept since Romy ran away. Point. You can't even remember what he looks like. Oh, wait, it's coming back. No, no, can't remember. We must find my clone. Well, all I can say is, girlfriend, if you want your child back, then you got to back your child. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yes, well. Be that as it may, young lady, we're simply here to let our young clone Roman know we want him to come back home. Woo! I'm down with that! Woo! No! Pinky, please! Talk to the hand! Talk to the hand! And if it isn't too much trouble, Miss Lake, please ask your audience to refrain from addressing me as girlfriend. We've tried everything I can ponder. I fear we'll never see Roman again. <gasps> A letter from Romy! Dear Pinky. Just Pinky? Right so. Hmm. Dear Pinky, hello. Ha ha, Narf. Don't let Brain read this. I won't, Romy. Go on, Brain. I'm as happy as a tick in a tick amusement park. So please don't try to find me. Your clone, Romy. 135 South Mullen Street, apartment 2F. Oh, Brain. It could be anywhere. Pinky? really is your son. So, what do you want to talk about? Well, um, what I wanted to say is uh, I've realized that, well, when I was a, a boy, I, I believe it was Euripides who told his uh, clone that, um, when in the course of human events... Apology accepted. Look, what it comes down to is you want me to take over the world and Pinky wants me to wrap my toes in string cheese, but... Face it, man, that's not me. No, because, uh, you're a, a ventriloquist. <laughs> oh, this is so Savannah. So, back to the lab, then. We kept your corner of the cage exactly as you left it, Romy. Except for everything being in a box and shoved in a closet somewhere. Hey, I'm not going back. The lab will always bring back feelings of disappointment. Man, I'm sick of disappointment. And that's why we're taking a year off to follow the Grateful Dead. Do you want to tell him, or shall I? Oh, I will, Brain. Have fun! No! Thanks, Brain. Call me Dad. But don't get excited. It's simply an acronym for Derivation of Applied DNA. And you can call me Pinky. It's an acronym for Pa-E-N-K-E. -E. Narf. Glarb.